Are you confused about the differences between claims and properties in ASP.NET Core Identity? You're not alone. Many developers find themselves tangled in the web of tutorials that seem to contradict each other. Today, we're going to clarify these concepts and help you understand which is more efficient and safer. I totally get it. It can be really frustrating when you read multiple resources and they all say different things. You might be wondering, which approach should I take for my application? This is a common dilemma for many developers. Let's dive into the specific question at hand. One user asked about the efficiency of claims versus properties in ASP.NET Core Identity. They pointed out that claims are serialized into a cookie, which can lead to larger data transfers if a user has many claims. On the other hand, custom identity user properties are queried from the database, which can increase database load if accessed frequently. So, which is the better option? To understand this better, we need to consider the implications of each approach. Claims stored in a cookie mean less frequent database queries, but larger cookie sizes can slow down requests. Conversely, querying properties from the database can lead to more database work, especially if you have many properties to access. Stay with me, because later in this video, I'll share a crucial tip on how to manage claims and properties effectively to optimize your application's performance. To address the user's question about efficiency, let's first clarify the difference between claims and custom identity user properties. Claims are serialized into a cookie, which means they travel back and forth between the server and the browser. This can lead to larger cookies if a user has many claims. On the other hand, custom identity user properties are not serialized into the cookie. Instead, they are queried from the database each time they are needed. This means that frequent access to these properties can increase the load on the database. Now regarding security, if a cookie is stolen, it can still be used to access claims. However, the security stamp in the cookie helps validate its authenticity. If claims are updated, the user will need to log in again to refresh the cookie. For the user's specific case, if they have many properties like first name, last name, and address, they should consider the trade-off between cookie size and database load. A larger cookie may slow down requests, while frequent database queries can increase server load. In conclusion, the user should evaluate their application's needs. If claims are stable and not frequently changing, using claims may be more efficient. However, if properties change often, Querying the database might be necessary despite the overhead. Fun fact, did you know that cookies were invented in the 1990s? They were originally created to help websites remember user preferences. Now, they play a crucial role in web security and performance. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user suggests a practical rule of thumb for managing claims and properties in ASP.NET Core Identity. They recommend placing frequently accessed items like user roles as claims in the cookie. For less frequently needed data, such as addresses, it's better to store them in the database and query them on demand. To enhance security, the user advises against exposing cookies and suggests implementing the security stamp validator. This validator can be set to check for updates every five minutes, ensuring that even if a cookie is stolen, it will only be valid for a short time. Let's move forward and look at another answer. This user suggests that the choice between claims and properties depends on your specific configuration. They emphasize that you don't need to store all information in claims or have it available all the time. Instead, you can fetch profile information from the server as needed. For authorization, they recommend keeping it close to the resource, like using an isAdmin tag. Claims are not flexible for frequently changing properties, as they require a user to log out and back in to refresh. Regarding safety, the user notes that client-side alterations are for display only and do not affect backend permissions. They suggest adding security measures for stolen cookies, like tracking IP addresses. Finally, 
they recommend using caching to reduce database calls and suggest adding display names for properties shown frequently on pages. Here's the tip I promised. Regularly review your claims and properties. This practice can help you maintain a balance between performance and security, ensuring your application runs smoothly. And there you have it. Understanding claims versus properties in ASP.NET Core Identity can significantly impact your application's efficiency and security. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more insights and tips.